action as they get it up past the 35. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Four down, four down. Check, check. Wait. Wait, 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. To Michelle on the dump off. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. A ball may come your way. Ready to throw on second down. And he whips that one incomplete there. His tight end, Dwayne Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. To throw is Brady. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens, because that was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down, here's Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. Harris has it over the middle. Breaks the tackle now with Alley. Then he gets this deep into Patriot territory. An outstanding pick up there for the Chiefs, 58 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Mahomes going to throw. Steps away to his left. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Spencer Ware, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. 
And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. This will be taken short. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. From our vantage point, that was just one bad play by the offensive line in a series of really good ones tonight. But I know that they're going to be really ticked off. It's a lot like a baseball pitcher losing a no-hitter late in the game. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Brady throwing on second down. Flushed out right. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. Down. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Looks for White, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. The run is Lair, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, when both guys went up for the ball, I just thought, who's going to come down with it? I didn't think he'd come down with it.